so what's up youtube fam um so basically excuse the lighting i'm nervous i don't know why um excuse the lighting basically this is my friend dorian <laughs> ew i don't match no it's the lighting dude like oh. i'm telling you like i look greasy and red like you do match in real life but it's just like the lighting yeah it's because only two of my light bulbs work out of five um, but we were planning on just like we got a lot of stuff to do today, so we were planning on doing the what is it the muk mukbang mukbang mukbang. Muk I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't um, know. I have three rolls, one, two in the bag. He gave me two. Wow. But I feel like Dorian got the hookup because this guy gave her like a twelve box full of chicken. Gave her a meal. Gave us my meal. Gave her like three rolls. I'm just like the fuck. Honestly, hell yeah. Like, I don't even know. We didn't even pay for that. No, we didn't. <laughs> what if it was the guy behind us' box of chicken? I mean, that could be a possibility. But honestly, I don't think so just because, like... I don't think so because he was like, no, I... No, wait, he did mix it in there then. What do you mean? Wait, is that the regular spicy? Yeah, and then I got the buffalo chipotle. Okay, then maybe... I don't know. They fucked up somewhere. <laughs> Honestly, my chicken's kind of cold. Really? Yeah. I hate eating cold food. Yeah. My, I haven't tasted the chicken yet. I've been eating the bread. <laughs> I mean, I don't really care, to be honest, but I'd rather have it really hot where I have to, like... <sighs> no. So, I got bread, fries, okra, chicken. I got salad. Because Golden Chick, honestly, their fucking salads are really bomb. The fucking vegetables are always so crispy. I mean, honestly, it looks really green. And I feel like most salads at restaurants are really, like, brown. White. Yeah, just not green. <laughs> I don't know. It's always just, like, really fresh. And then, like, the chicken is always crispy. The fries are always crispy. And honestly, like, if they're nasty behind the scenes, I don't want to know because I don't care because it's just bomb. <laughs> but. Okay, so. This is the first time I've ever done this, so I didn't really know what to talk about. So I came up with, like, with, like, a couple things here. Um, so, like, one of the questions I wrote down is, what would be, like, one of your good memories just offhand, if you can think of one from high school or, like, middle school? Like, what is a good memory that you can think of? Fuck, honestly, it's hard to think of good memories, yeah, to be honest. Like, the only reason it's hard for me to think of good memories is because I feel like my head keeps a hold of all the negative memories like and that's why i just and it's bad but like i can't help it i don't really like have anything that stands out but like i just like i don't know i just used to not even do anything but go to school but like are you serious i feel like you were low-key the bad one in okay in yeah school. like what do you mean but like, like freshman year <laughs> i guess because i never like went to class so i fucking failed like half of my classes and like ditched all the time. Okay, so, so in I that, guess in that ditching, you can't think of it like a good memory of the ditching. No, no it's also it's like I mean, get dig down, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, honestly, I can't remember if it was middle school or high school. But you know how like I'm not trying to throw no shade out here, but like you remember like okay, maybe I shouldn't even say the name. Okay, yeah, so no. I'm gonna tell her real quick and we'll block it out. So basically, a long time ago, my, my one of my old friends, we it was snowing outside and she had like a a townhouse. So there's upstairs and we literally had a like snowball fight inside the apartment, like townhouse. We were like running up and down the stairs, just throwing snowballs at each other. And the carpet was so wet, but it was so fun. Damn. Yeah. 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 I think I remember that townhouse. Yeah. But the, the summer lake or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, honestly, okay, you said high school, my, I don't know, I just, used to, I just started school. ditching, like, freshman year, um, I don't know, I really liked playing softball, um, yeah, and just, like, chilling, doing whatever, but I just literally was always in fucking trouble, and it, not even in trouble at school but with my mom so like i would barely i would be limited to what i could do after school so it's just so like boring and stressful like i don't know i made some dumb decisions but like yeah i was just always in trouble okay so you can't even think about that one funny time whenever we got like drunk for formal 
Oh my god. Like, no. dude, I was so fucked up. <laughs> that shit was funny. I know. I remember, like, people were like, Monica, you're falling. Like, we have to go outside. <laughs> Oh, like what the fuck we're 13 getting drunk off of some cheap ass vodka outside of we our did gym. and i kept that bottle and i filled it up with water my mom was like where do you get that from i was like oh i got it from outside like this was like, cool <laughs> that was, we were too much that was too, being too much and then somebody else had something to drink when we got there so i drank some of their drink oh really mm-hmm. i think it's our class like our class was just too much it was a little bad mm-hmm. Um, bad memory. Oh. Bad memory. Um, there's a lot of bad memories. Um, so the next question is, what is one bad memory from high school or middle school? Um, I don't think of like the worst, but you know, I'm taking this Chipotle chicken out because it's not that good. No, no. Nah. So I'm glad that he hooked it up with like regular chicken. Oh shit, that's kind of in the way, but you can try some. Does it have the bone in it? No. Like, I'll just stick to my spicy oh, rub. Yeah. Like, it's weird, yeah. yeah it's good. But, um, I guess, wait, what did we say? One funny memory? No, one bad one. Oh, bad one. Um, I mean, really, just like I said, just like getting in trouble was just fucking awful, but... Uh, I'm trying to think of like a horrible one. Um, honestly, just getting suspended was like the fucking worst, and y'all can't even lie because you know you're about to give your ass beat with your parents when you get home. Like all of that extra shit. I don't know. Honestly, that was all bad. And for me, especially like the first time I got suspended freshman year, was shitty for me. Because my mom fucking sent me to Texas the entire time I was suspended. How many times have you been suspended? Um, I think just twice. How long were you suspended for? The second time I was suspended for 10 days. Was it for fighting? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Girl, of course. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like a bad one. Like I know there has to be one, but I have to like figure this shit out because it's really hard to think about high school and middle school because like that shit was so long ago. Honestly, I kind of mush high school and middle school together because like I was, I just honestly I lived my life way too fucking quick and I started like partying at um <laughs> like 12 years old. I was like going to house parties with my friend, but really she was just like a really bad influence and I was just like, yeah, fuck it, I'm sleeping over, like, let's go. We went to like house parties at 12 years old, lied to the people saying we were 16 and we're just like there drinking with them and like going to like the gay bar at freaking 12 years old, Mm. but saying we were 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah, head to the rec room. Mm -hmm. Cause you only had to be 16 to get in, but like, I would just say- I've never been to the rec room. Really? No. No. We didn't take you once? Oh, no. I've always heard about it, but now that I think about it, I've never been there. Now that we're old enough, that's kind of lame to go, but, like, you know. I could walk in and keep my head in. All they would do was a drag show. And then they would make you go home, like, at 11 because it was past curfew. But, yeah, no. I'm, like, 12 years old doing this fuckery. Like, who the fuck did I think I was? So, that's why, like, basically... I lived my life quick, and then I got pregnant at, like, 16, and then had to grow up. So now I'm 21, but I'm, like, living, like, as if I was 20 fucking six or whatever. Or That's how I feel anyways. So I just, like, did shit really quick. Like, I don't I mean, know. maybe God did give you her to calm me down, you know? It could have been, like, in jail or something. Like, you know, Honestly, like shit. yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck did I think I was? Mm-hmm. Um... To be honest, if you eat any of this chicken, you probably have to heat it up because mine is cold too. Same. I'm probably good because I'm almost getting full. I'm not eating too fast, but I was starving. Um, I'm still trying to think of like a bad, bad one. Most of my bad ones that I can think of are just from like being bullied and shit like that. But like, I mean, for example, when I, I don't know if I talked about this like in my bullying video but like i think it was like middle school 
What was her name? Do you remember that girl? She basically, like, her and her friends, like, were throwing gum in my hair, and I was riding the bus. It was in the morning time, and I just, like, knew they were throwing gum in my hair, but I just let it happen. Yeah, I feel you. And I'm, that's, like, the only thing I remember. I think you told me that, but no, I don't think I know who that is. Honestly, there's one incident where I got bullied on the same, like, bus. Me and Monica used to ride the same bus in middle school. Okay. Yeah, because I used to live, because I used to go to Emily's house after school. Oh, yeah. So... On the bus, I've already talked to this person, by the way, and I don't know if she, like, I hope she doesn't get mad because I say something, but I just won't say her name, but I've already, like, talked to her about it, and I told her, like, what she did, and she was just like, oh my god, I didn't even remember that, but I was on the bus, and my mom used to not let me shave my legs or literally do anything, because she was just, like, scared that I was going to grow up too fast, and I, like, shaved my legs one time, and so, like, the hair grew back, like, hairier than it was and, like, thicker. So, like, my legs were really hairy and my mom got me in trouble already for, like, shaving. And that girl, she was on, we were on the bus and for some reason she was just like, you know you're supposed to shave your legs in the shower. And I was just like, yeah. Oh, you were shaving your legs in the bus? No. Oh. <laughs> she was, like, telling me, like, hey, you need to shave your legs. She was like, you know you're supposed to do it in the shower every time you shower. And I was like, yeah. But, like... And then she was just like, so you don't shower? And I was like, I do. I don't know why I didn't say my mom doesn't let me shave my legs. I just said I do. And then um, she was telling everybody, you need to close your legs. You smell like tuna because you don't shower. And I'm 11 years fucking old. And I just didn't know what to say. So I just sat there and like my feelings were so hurt. But like, I've talked to her about it now. And I told her like what happened. I Like even her mom knows. And she was just like, I do not remember that. Like, I'm so sorry. And I was just like. Um, I just got bullied mainly, mainly in elementary school. I got so bullied in like, like, like girls' thing. I just got bullied in middle school. Um, I mean, one funny memory. I um, thought we did say the funny memory. I think we said good memory. Oh, um, good, bad, funny. Uh, this is hard to think. I know. It's like, this was just so long ago, and I don't know. Um, I don't, honestly, something I think that is funny that I look back on and laugh about all the time. I don't know. I just thought it was the funniest shit ever. When I used to ditch in um, freshman, freshman year, I would go late to my first hour every time because I would like go ganja, do ganja burns at the uh, park across the street with my friends. So I would come in late. And one of my friends one time, like I walked in and I was all late and shit and she was just like, Oh my god, you just smell like like a whole blunt with legs walked in. And I just like thought that was the funniest shit because like I could picture the imagery in my head and I was just like, um, that's funny. Honestly, I can't think of a funny moment to be honest. But on that note, like I remember like me, Leslie Manuel, we would have literally like half of a like a fucking what is it called? Like not the good weed. Reggie? Reggie. We had like half a blunt of Reggie and I swear like everybody would come with us to smoke and we'd just walk around the block and I'm like, bro, like we don't have enough for y'all. Like what the fuck? Yeah. Like, I remember that shit used to happen all the time for everybody. I know. Like, um, bum ass people. Like, hello. I'm about to heat up this chicken real quick. I look like some man Indian lady. Um... Okay, how did we meet? Okay, so basically, I honestly don't remember how we met. I just know, like, we, of course, went to school together, but, like, I, I can't just think of, like, how we were little, like, hi, my name is Monica. <laughs> I think, like, we just had similar friends. Like, I was friends with Emily, and then, like, you were friends with her, so we just kind of, like, started talking, probably, like, at lunch or, I don't know, something together. Honestly, we didn't even really hang out with the same people, so I have no idea. I don't know either. But it was in middle school for sure. Oh, mystery, man. You know, like, when you die and they tell you that, like, your mind goes to the back, like, to the past and future? Yeah. Maybe, like, in, when we die, we'll see that memory of, like, how we met. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see the little picture. <laughs> um, how long have we been friends? This is kind of going back to the other question. I would say at least, like... It's been, like, eight or nine years. I was going to say eight, yeah. Because since middle time. school, since I was, like... 12 years old, basically 21. So, like, nine years. That's a long time, dude. Ride or die. <laughs> and then, what is one or multiple things that we have in common? I honestly feel like we're the same person. 
But like being the same person, it's not like oh we're the same person exactly, exactly. So like it's not like we get on each other's nerves. It's just like we have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. Like we think the same. Like, yeah, pretty much because like I don't know, like looking at us and stuff. And if you like hang out with us, you're probably gonna be like, no, y'all, like y'all are two different people. But like, I don't know, like bonding wise, personal wise, like when we're by ourselves and stuff, and like thinking about shit and talking about shit, like it's always like the same. And honestly, I think we've just been friends for so long because we're just like not fake to each other. Like it's not that hard to not be a fake friend and to just like be real like i don't get why people have such a hard time with that like it's just fucking see, super simple like monica's hella honest with me i'm hella honest with monica like and i feel like that goes back to like honestly all my past friends i think i was just too honest with them that it low-key hurt their feelings and so then they stopped being friends with me now that i think about it really no yeah. emily emily was a different story but like same everybody else like most of the time it's just because i told them something that they were doing that i didn't like and then they got pissed off about it I'm just like, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm just letting you know. Y'all, yeah, like, I don't know. You tell me things, like, you're not about to make me mad because you tell me something. Like, I get it, and I will do the same for you. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's not that hard. Accept honesty. Like, give honesty. Being a good person is really not that hard. No. I kind of feel like being, like, having a friendship is kind of like having a relationship. Like, actual, like, boyfriend-girlfriend relationship. Just because you guys have to, like, be there and support each other. And you guys have to have that trust and communication, Loki. So I do feel like it's like a relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, because, um, I don't know, because, like, like, for instance, like, say you don't want to hang out or something. Like, you can't just be, like, flaky as fuck or, like, fucking around or whatever about it. Like, if you're just, like, oh, yeah, sorry, I have something to do. Like, which me and her always do to each other. We're just, like, oh, hey, like, you know, I have something to do right now or, like, you know whatever like it just really it just boils down to like being honest with somebody and like not being envious about them or just anything like that because really i feel like a lot of the friendships today like don't work out because a bitch is always trying to be on top like instead of just building each other and like working together and like just living life happily peacefully with each other like everybody's just trying to be better than everybody else and it's just like why would you be fake to your own friends like people that are going to be there for you through everything like i don't know i just feel like people are just really being materialistic nowadays but i totally agree with you and i feel like that's usually how it ends um is there any more questions i have no, no just i can't really think of anything else um let's talk about today so basically me and dorian both have busy ass lives which i feel like that's another part of being like friendships like you have to understand how busy your person is you know and I feel like we both understand, like, you know, we're grown, growing up to be adults. So, like, we obviously have a lot of things to do in our lives. But I'm going to tell you right now, Dorian reminds me of my mom because she's a hard-working bitch. I swear, dude, like, you're always working. How do you and you have so much shit, dude. And it's just like, what the fuck? How the fuck do you do this by yourself? Like, the fuck? This bitch needs no man. I repeat no man but if you are a man that wants to be in her life maybe in a couple years you know put a ring on it have a kid have a family you know <laughs> no we out here honestly i don't know how the fuck i do it either because your girl's hella tired i don't know how the fuck you do it i don't and then you still have time to like go out like you still make that little time to like do stuff dude fucking barely but yes i'm just like how do you do it i'm so full but i have two more chickens left but I'm just trying to get my money's worth since I paid $10. Honestly, like, I don't really care if you think I eat gross or ugly or you're, like, cringy. Or you think this is cringy or whatever the fuck because this food is good and I was hungry. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. And I keep messing with my hair because it's, like, hella flat at the top. So it looks weird. I'm done, bro. You I can't. can't. Fuck. I tap out. <laughs> to be honest, I'm low-key going to spill some these. Okay. You can take the whole thing. I'm probably not going to eat it. Or unless you want to leave like two for Evie to eat tomorrow. No, I just need four. Make a move. Um, you need to take more than that. You're not about to leave me with like 20 tenders. <coughs> Honestly, um, but I'm sick right now. Mom, if you're watching this, just know I'm sick. But I'm getting fucked up today. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. This is pretty much it. I hope it was kind of entertaining. I'm sorry about the bad lighting and... Um, 
if you guys want to send like comment some questions <coughs> down below or something um something that you want to know something that you want us to talk about like i don't know you know just whatever so that we have more interesting things to say later on we just kind of came up with like shit that we would know we would have something to talk about but you know yeah and you know like my last video give it a huge thumbs up ebony ebony do you want to do that you go you the star Because, um, I don't think it's off subject. She's been doing that. She did that last time all the time. No, don't have to tell them to subscribe and thumbs up and all that other stuff that you Turn the location on. Turn the location. You were so hyped last time. Give a huge thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. Turn the location. Give a huge thumbs up. What is the location thing? Like, why? No, don't do that. I think she's talking about the bell. Like, turn the bell on. The notification. Yeah, I think that's what she's talking about. Oh, she probably got it mixed up. But yeah, she doesn't. Okay, disclaimer: she doesn't even watch YouTube like that. Like, she's not allowed to watch YouTube. She's only watching it right now because she's eating and like doing mommy, her own thing over there. Mommy, but she's not allowed to watch mommy, YouTube at my house. Get the pumpkins. We're yes. gonna carve pumpkins. We're gonna carve pumpkins. I honestly can't remember the last. We're gonna carve pumpkins. pumpkins because so we're gonna, yeah, tell them we're gonna carve pumpkins because why? Because it's, it's Halloween coming.